Hello there. This is just a quick observation of mine. I like to observe. So I drove down to a place that is sort of next to the marina, just for a bit of quiet time. And in front of the marina, there's a pitch and putt. It's like sort of a crazy golf, but not quite. It's more like a golf course. It's only about eight holes, but it, and the holes are very small. They do have some sand bunkers, but it's all grassed up. It does look like a real sort of golf course, but small. It's made basically for families. And as I was sitting there or looking through my window in my car, contemplating life, I witnessed quite a few people playing golf. There wasn't that many there, but there was a sort of a boyfriend and girlfriend. Looked like a family, maybe a couple of families. Even, I think, a husband and wife. And of course, this place isn't meant for golfers, just a bit of fun. But I noticed that mostly all the femons, at least 95% of them, couldn't actually hit the ball correctly. And they also looked a bit cack-handed doing it. The men generally hit the ball okay and looked quite smooth. Even there was a boy there at only seven years old or so. He did all right as well. But his sister was having a bit of problem. I'm not trying to pick on femons, of course. It's just an observation. They don't seem to have the eye, hand and sort of coordination going on like sort of boys do. But of course, if I went down there and asked one of these sort of femons, are you good at this pitch and putt? They would say yes, and were much better than males. Then of course I'm supposed to wither away and disappear, and not challenge that in any way. But the fact is, of course, they're not. You see, the thing is with boys and males, in their DNA, we've had hundreds and hundreds of years of throwing spears, bow and arrows, using clubs or sticks to knock things down, throwing rocks at monkeys. We've just honed that skill in because we had something different to do on planet Earth. Femons were the breeders. But you can imagine the sort of ruckus it would cause if I went down there and said, you girls mostly can't hit the ball properly. That would be considered a criticism towards the femons and all hell would break loose. Probably the police would be involved. And that's the society we live in that were not allowed to criticize femons. Even if, or especially if, they're no good at something. And it's not their fault they're not that good at it, because that wasn't their job on planet, was it? They seem to do all right having babies, that's what they were supposed to do. And of course they could learn their skill, but it doesn't come naturally to them at first. But of course there is femons that are eye-hand coordinated, but not that many that I've seen anyway. So don't tell me that femons aren't entitled in the society when we're not even allowed to criticize them about something they're doing wrong. And of course a lot of femons throw a ball a bit cack-handed as well, don't they? But it's funny because femons openly criticize men all the time. So once again, don't do what I do, just do what I say. We won't do parallel parking this time. I haven't got enough time left. You take it easy, fellas.